You know, we wouldn't be doing any of this if it wasn't for this ridiculous myth that rhino horn actually has some sort of medical value. It's a complete myth. It's like, like saying chewing your fingernails will, uh, will cure your, your, your cancer. It's ridiculous. And in fact, that's what's so infuriating and what drives part of our lives is we've got a poaching problem. Rhinos are being killed at a rate of one every seven and a half hours. If you look at statistics of poaching, it's easy to become depressed about them. 1,215 rhinos were killed in South Africa last year. And given that there are only 20,000 of these rhinos left, that's terrifying. But we really wanted to be a part of that, that solution. So we started Great Plains Foundation primarily to protect enough land so that we can then save these big iconic species. If we protect lions and elephants and rhinos, everything works in Africa. And by focusing right now on rhinos, it's allowing us to protect everything right down to the tiny little dung beetles. And so that's where we formed Rhinos Without Borders. And then a couple of years ago, we were able to go back to the president and say, now's the time to move these animals back into the wild. And what we're doing here is moving 100 rhinos out of the highest poaching areas in South Africa and move them to the lowest poaching areas, which are in Botswana, over the next 18 months. To move one rhino, it costs about 45,000 US dollars. And that is including the security, the veterinarians. We've got to have professionals at all times. So many people are putting their lives to trying to protect these rhinos. And also what's important to know is we're not going to be fencing them in at all. We're going to be setting them free. We've spoken about getting these numbers up to 400, maybe 500, and making Botswana at least the second most significant rhino country in, in Africa. If we can get the conservation right in Botswana, this is a model that can roll out through the rest of Africa. If we can get the global population to be part of this, I believe we can turn this around that there is immense hope.